In this video, we present a technique for capturing high-resolution reflectance fields that takes advantage of the reversibility of light transport, a property known as reciprocity. Our scanning setup, which we refer to as a dual light stage, consists of a gray diffuse sphere, a laser and mirror galvanometer, and a high-speed video camera with a fisheye lens. To capture reflectance functions of an object, we place it inside the diffuse sphere and scan a laser across its surface. For each position of the laser, light is scattered off the object to the inside surface of the diffuse sphere. The video camera records the resulting pattern of scattered light. Each of these images represents the impulse response of the object to a particular incident laser ray. However, the reversibility of light transport implies that we can instead interpret each image as a reflectance function of a virtual camera pixel sampling along the reverse of the laser ray. We demonstrate the rendering process with data from a glass sculpture of a snail. To render an image, we first take a lighting environment and transform it into the same geometric mapping as a reflectance function data. We then compute the dot product of the two images. This corresponds to the color of a virtual camera pixel. We then repeat the process for all reflectance functions, each one producing a pixel value in our final image. Here, we see the glass sculpture of a snail rendered in a variety of illumination conditions, exhibiting accurate specular reflection and refraction. Here we see a concave metal bowl. Its relatively flat surfaces allow details of the environment to be clearly seen in the reflections from the object. Here we see a glass of wine resting on a gray platform. We can observe caustics and smoothly varying shadows falling on the surface. Here we see the glass of wine under varying directional illumination, allowing the caustics and smoothly varying sharp shadows to be observed more clearly. 